Hey guys, so in this video I will explain the new 1.9 update from Zero to Hero. All the information is included in this video, so listen to what I say. First of all, you guys think that this update is pay to win and attachments are expensive to craft. Now I thought the same at the first when I saw the preview of the update, but no, it's just an optional thing to do. You can grind out blueprints yourself from zones, floppy disks, even by recycling. Basically everywhere you can find the blueprints across the world. Maybe more rare blueprints can be found in the harder locations like floppy disks, airdrops, bunker boxes and etc. The point of this update is to help people decrease the grind for guns and modified guns. Now you're wondering, but Dimrus, the attachments are expensive. Once you craft the attachment, it will be yours forever. But first of all, you have to find a blueprint of the attachment. It can be a common attachment, rare or a legendary. When you learn the blueprint, you're now available to craft it. After you craft it, it's there forever, and you can put it on guns forever, unlimited amount of times. You can remove it, you can put it back, it doesn't matter, it will be free. It won't cost you. The update is awesome, you should like it guys. The downside is that you will need some new materials to craft the attachment. For example, lens, carbon fiber, glue, and springs. But I think that the glue can be crafted with water and bones on a campfire. But I don't have the update, so I can't share anything guys. Lens are only bought from the shop but I think you can get it from zones and across the world map. Carbon fiber is obtained by recycling guns. Recycling in 1.9 has changed for saw blades, melee weapons and etc. and also firearms. Before 1.9 update, firearms gave you only weapon parts, scrap and steel. Now it gives you springs, carbon fiber, factory parts and a random blueprint of the gun you're currently recycling. So if you recycle an AK, you have a chance of getting the AK's random blueprint and then you can learn it or trade it with the specialist. Now you guys also wondering what happens with the modified guns you have in the boxes before 1.9. When you're about to upgrade from 1.8.7 update to 1.9 update, all the guns are being replaced with the new modification system so a fully modified Glock has a sight, extended magazine, laser and a silencer. That's 4 modifications, just so you know, start using up those modified guns before you update the game, because it has slightly nerfed. Your fully modded modifications are going to have less damage and less stuff available than it is right now. Because obviously in 1.8.7 update, fully modified weapons are OP, but in 1.9 it will be nerfed. Because you can craft better modifications and attachments yourself. I've streamed before and I said to most of you guys to save broken guns. Rise up the firearms experience if you want to, you can start recycling broken guns already in 1.8.7 update because you have a chance of getting steel bars from 0% to 5% but of course if you want to and raise experience too. But I'm going to wait for 1.9 update and then recycle the guns. That way you will get carbon fiber, factory parts, springs and a random blueprint for the gun you're recycling. This is what's cool about this update, weapon parts are being replaced with springs and there's no longer any weapon parts in the game. Now here's what you need to stockpile for the 1.9 update. Save plastic, iron plates, iron bars, bolts, aluminum wire, aluminum plates, steel plates, weapon parts, high-tech components, truck saw blades, gun oil, heat sensors, electronic circuits, watches, cameras, USBs, all of that tech stuff that will recycle you a electronic circuit, so don't waste those. They also might make the camera drop lens for a very low chance when recycling, it might happen. But save all that miscellaneous stuff, also save wrenches and all of that mechanical items, if you of course want to modify your melee weapons. You will need 8 wrenches for a blade on your saw blade maze. You can also paint your saw blades color. Awesome, huh? Kefir has done an absolutely fantastic job on this update. Reason because attachments can be crafted for one time and you can apply it forever on any gun you want. That is absolutely helpful. People are now going to enjoy the update. Kudos to Kefir. And of course, making a modded saw blade mace costs 5 saw blade maces itself. You can of course break the saw blade maces, their ability, and then just use them up for the upgrade. Don't worry, the attachments are expensive to craft, but it's so worth it. It will save you a lot of time. Anyways, do not waste your resources. Broken guns, broken melee guns in the 1.8.7 update. Just don't. You better save it for 1.9 update. And wait till you can do stuff in 1.9 update. Because trust me, you will need all the broken guns, all the broken melee weapons in 1.9 update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.